and once again, good evening. Uh, before I get into the day, uh, Brian, I would clean my office if I had the time to clean my office. So that's why I still mess, because I don't have the time. Um, yeah, so speaking of not having the time, um, as you guys probably guessed, I was working in today, which is going to be like my lot in life for the next several months. Um, I actually talked to Rick for a while today. He's got some shows coming up. He's playing some gigs with his, uh, his wife, Lauren, uh, in L.A. And um, trying to help you, you know, schedule have rehearsals and, you know, get that stuff you know, square, rehearsal room squared, out for, squared away for him. And uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how much I have time to devote to this. <laughs> um, like, I might have to look like load men for uh, this gig. I'm like, I really don't have time. So this is kind of nuts. Um, anyway, so... Aside from me bitching about, you know, my busy schedule, which is, you know, boo-hoo, I have work. Uh, today, I, well, made a little bit of plans today. I, next week, um, I'm going to go check out the Albert Watson exhibit at uh, Tastion Gallery in L.A. Um, for those of you guys who don't know who Albert Watson is, famous photographer, um, probably took like a lot of iconic shots, but I think at this point he's probably most famous for taking the... Uh, that Steve Jobs photo that the Apple had up on their website the day he died, you know, when we was kind of on the camera. Um, there's a great video on fstoppers.com, a little short interview, uh, either through their website or on YouTube, you find of him talking about that photo that is phenomenal. Just the way he set that up, the way he got Jobs to that pose is fantastic. And as a photographer, it's super inspiring, and I'm so stealing his techniques. But I'm really excited to go see his gallery showing next week. Um, I, I wasn't like that familiar with his work, but one of the one of the guys who uh, I uh, I don't know, we're work with him. He's he owns a warehouse where uh, Leopard stores are gear. He's a huge photography nut. So whenever we hang out, we talk about photographers and all that stuff. And he uh, he invited me to go uh, and point the guy out to me. Like I I mean I I knew of his work, but I didn't know him that well. The you know, the photographer. Um, for being a photographer, I'm kind of shit about paying attention to who else shoots. Like, I, I don't like paying attention to a lot of photography names. So, uh, I'm excited to go see this one. Um, also, uh, I had a good long, uh, well, uh, online chat uh, with my friend uh, uh, Trish. Uh, if you guys have been watching for several months, uh, you'll remember uh, Trish was a friend of mine who basically moved into my house for all of July. Um, <laughs> stopped by for like a weekend and just stayed. Uh, it's a model friend of mine, like traveling model, and um, very, very cool woman. Actually, very, very cool. A uh, lot of fun. Um, and so she's out in uh, Ohio right now, like, and I think she's going absolutely stir crazy. So I think she might come back out here maybe next month at some point. Although um, she might come here for the winter, but it'll probably be when I'm gone. Like I, I, this might, I'll be amazed if she gets here before I leave. I think she'd be staying at my house while I'm on tour with Phil, which is fine. Uh, looks nice to have somebody to watch your stuff, uh, keep an eye on the place, and um, I like helping friends out when I can. You know, if it's, uh, like I don't always have the ability to, you know, pay people's bills or something like that or cover their rent, but um, you know, if I got space and somebody needs a place to crash, I'm always like like to do that with my friends. So uh, I think she's gonna try to get some more more work out of this direction, kind of moving more into sort of uh, commercial acting work. So, uh, that's kind of cool. I'm, I hope I'll get to see her, you know, if she's out here. If not, I'll, you know, just know my stuff is being taken care of. Um, what else? What else? I think that's kind of really bad today. Like, the only two kind of cool things other than just me, you know, building more shit at work. Oh, and I did find the gear I was missing yesterday. Uh, I think I might have briefly mentioned that I misplaced a couple, uh, pedal boards. So, um, real quick backtrack. Uh, two years ago, I think. Yeah, two years, yeah, two years, two, two years ago, um, we moved over to Mastermind pedals for uh, for Rick. Which, um, basically, all the guys on our stage, all the roadies, we do all the patch changes. So, like Rick's Rick's is a big digital drum kit. Every song's like a different, you know, different set of sounds. So I actually do a patch change, like a guitar text would. You know, between like you know, clean, dirty kind of thing. Why well, do patch changes? And we start getting more and more complicated with the system. Uh, and the older path the pedal boards we're using, which are these uh, ground controls, which are nice. Uh, there's a couple functions I needed to have uh, that they didn't have, so uh, I upgraded to the RJM Masterminds. Uh, we have the GT16s for me, 
the guitar decks will use the GT20s, I believe, the, the big bad boys. Uh, they are fantastic pedal boards if anyone's ever looking for one, but uh, you can pretty much like program them to wash your dishes, um, but they're kind of stupidly expensive. Uh, and anyways, as I have, you know, at this point, three rigs, uh, the tour, I have six pedal boards. So we were mainly touring at first year mainly with the A-Rig, and I was just like, well, I'll just travel. I'll, I'll travel with them if I need to use their rigs. And this year, last year, we had more stuff popping up, and I'm trying to get the C-Rig, make sure that's all current uh, for, for next year. Because as you guys all know from watching various interviews with other band members, it's going to be a gigantic year for next year for Def Leppard. I expect both, I expect all three rigs to be hopscotching quite a lot. Um, but, long story short, too late. Um, so I ordered four more of those pedals this summer because I needed to have two of them to go down with me to Mexico because I had two in South America. So, um, I ordered four of them. They showed up. I left two uh, in two boxes. I left two in one box, pulled their two out, programmed them, put them in the, in the rig, and then shipped them. For some bizarre reason, because I got a bunch of new gear in that, that I'm cycling stuff out, so I had a lot of boxes came in. And I made a shelf in our warehouse dedicated just for the new stuff that I'm putting in Rex Ray. Just the new boxes, all my brand new stuff is one spot so I can work on it, you know, grab some I need. For some dumb reason, I took that box of pedal boards and I put them on the top shelf behind an old kick drum. So I tore the, the warehouse part yesterday on the way out for about a half hour going, where the hell are these things? Because they're, they're like 1600 bucks a pop. They're expensive. Uh, they're awesome, uh, but they're like this most insanely expensive pedal board you can probably buy. Um, although, as I said, you can pretty much wash, have them wash your dishes. They're pretty impressive. But I had two of them in a the box, and I didn't really want to have to tell my bosses that I lost, you know, $3,200 in pedal boards. That would not go over well. Uh, thankfully, this morning I found them and uh, pulling out a ladder and crawling on the top shelves, so I realized I had done something really stupid and <laughs> buried the brand new gear behind some very, very old gear. I have no idea why, but anyways, I found them. So that's such a nice little part of that today. Um, regarding my little polling question about football yesterday, uh, you got a lot, a lot of Midwest people on, the, uh, on this, uh, my viewers here. Uh, some Steelers fans, actually Cardinals fans, other places around there. Um, I hope all your teams are doing well, just not as well as mine. Hint, hint. Um, but I have another question for you guys today. So for the art people, uh, uh, art lovers out there, and I'm going to narrow this down to photography lovers. Who's your favorite photographer? If you have one. Like what photographer, you know, anybody that you've like seen over the years, like, wow, this is amazing work. I love this person's work. Whether it be you know, rock stuff, landscapes, fashion, whatever. Uh, comment down below. I'd love to know what you guys, uh, what you guys dig. So with that, I'm going to post this and go to bed because I got a long day again tomorrow. Like every day right now in my life. Long, busy days at work. And uh, get some sleep. So I shall see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic evening, morning, afternoon, whatever, depending on when you watch us. And uh, catch you later. Thanks for stopping by.